It's been a good run, boys, but we all knew it would happen sooner or later. YouTube is killing the dislike button for reasons that nobody really understands. Well, actually, that's not true. We do understand why they did it. It's just that the general opinion for why they decided to remove the dislike button is very different from the actual reason that YouTube gave. So let's talk about that. Hey guys, remember to decimate that like button, absolutely destroy that subscribe button, and give me some Fs in the comments section for the dislike button. Gone, but not forgotten. When I think about YouTube removing the dislike button, I think the story actually starts on a different website entirely a few years back. If you think back to right around 2017, Netflix had the ability to rate every show that you watched, every special you watched, every movie you watched on a five star scale. You could see how many stars a show had, and it was a good metric to understand how the community felt about a show. I think the parallels between this five star system and the dislike button on YouTube is obvious. But wait, I said Netflix had a star system. What happened to it? Well, in a direct parallel to what we'll discuss about YouTube's statement later on in this video, Netflix gave a statement citing only vague reasons for the system's removal, saying that the use of stars was too confusing. Obviously, the average person didn't really believe this, same way we don't believe the YouTube statement. The reason that a lot of people, and myself personally, think that Netflix removed the rating system had to do with Amy Schumer. If you haven't heard of Amy Schumer, consider yourself lucky. Don't look up her comedy unless you want to waste your time. In my opinion, her humor is just decidedly bad. I mean, it's all a matter of perspective, that's just my opinion, but I think that unless you are a mid-50s wine mom in a wealthy coastal area who just happens to be unmarried with no children and has a dark sense of dread that your life is going better than you could have expected, but it's still not enough. There's a void inside. You're missing something. Unless that describes you, I don't think you'd like Amy Schumer. Now, Amy Schumer had put out a particularly vile Netflix special in 2017, which received great reviews from critics. See the mid-50s wine mom allegory I just had, but it had terrible reviews from real, everyday people. Now, now, of course, this would have just blown over in any normal time, but 2017 was a divisive year on the internet. As such, there were immediately claims made that the special was being brigaded by members of a political group that Amy Schumer and the people who enjoy Amy Schumer dislike. This, of course, took the legacy media by storm, because again, politics at the time, and I guess to a different extent still to this day, is crazy. In my opinion, there is a direct correlation between the false brigading claims on Amy Schumer's Netflix special and Netflix removing the star rating system. I think that the real reason that they removed the star rating system right after Amy Schumer special got rated one star on Netflix was because they didn't like the fact that people were rating the stuff that they spent a lot of money on one star. So they just decided to get rid of it entirely. But how does that relate to the dislike button at YouTube? Well, as it turns out, like the Amy Schumer special on Netflix, YouTube has also invested a large amount of time and money into a project that the unrelatable elites who work at the company like, but that completely failed with the average person. I'm talking about the number one disliked video on YouTube, the 2018 YouTube Rewind. Yeah, it's rewind time. You know, if I control rewind, I would want Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. Quit horsing around. Play me some of that jumping music. I'm so proud of this community. It was overly political, overly corporate, overly bad in general. It currently has at least 19 and a half million dislikes with an 86.5% dislike to like ratio. And soon enough, you will not be able to see that anymore. You won't see a dislike ratio anywhere. So you could see though, how the high dislike ratio, how 86% how of people leaving a dislike on the video that corporate YouTube spent so much time and money on would ruffle some feathers. The people who worked on the rewind needed to justify to themselves that they made the worst possible version of the video they had set out to make. They needed to make sure that other people didn't think that it was their fault. Because it's easier to believe that somebody's brigading you and that hate mobs are coming after you than it is to blame yourself. It's always the others who are wrong. It seems like that in corporate America. When this happened at the end of 2018, a lot of creators started thinking that the writing was on the wall for the dislike button. Very soon after that, YouTube decided to run a little experiment where they'd be removing public dislike counts from small numbers of creators' videos. That experiment is what led us to today. So what is YouTube gonna do to kill the dislike button? Well, they're hiding the public dislike counts on all videos across the website. The dislike count will still be visible to the creator themselves who makes the video, but without the public display, it's functionally useless. Most people use the dislike ratio to determine whether or not a video was worth watching, or in the case of the tech videos and tutorials, if the video was trustworthy and accurate, if you could trust the tutorial or not. Obviously, you're less likely to waste your time using an outdated or an accurate tutorial if you see that it has thousands more dislikes than likes. 
However, YouTube has decided it's not important for you to know whether or not a video is worth watching or if it's trustworthy. They claim this change is because of bullying and cancel culture. They seem to think that people disliking a creator's video in response to something terrible that that creator has done is a bad thing. Which, it kind of is a bad thing. It's bad for YouTube's publicity and bad for their bottom line. Removing the dislike button, the most harmless way to tell a creator that you're not happy with what they're doing, is going to take away an important way for people to harmlessly, anonymously, and safely criticize bad behavior, in my opinion. But for whatever reason, YouTube does not see disliking as harmless, so they want to discourage it as much as possible by hiding the public dislike counts. Take it from them. At YouTube, we strive to be a place where creators of all sizes and backgrounds find and share their voices. To ensure that YouTube promotes respectful interactions between viewers and creators, we have introduced several features and policies to improve their experience. And earlier this year, we experimented with the dislike button to see whether or not changes could help better protect creators from harassment and reduce dislike attacks, where people would work to drive up the number of dislikes on a creator's videos. As part of this experiment, viewers could still see and use the dislike button, but because the count was not visible to them, we found that they were less likely to target a video's dislike button to drive up the count. In short, our experiment data showed a reduction in dislike attacking behavior. We also heard directly from smaller creators and those just getting started that they are unfairly targeted by this behavior, and our experiment confirmed that this does occur at a higher proportion on smaller channels. Based on what we learned, we're making the dislike counts private across YouTube, but the dislike button is not going away. This change will start rolling out today. And there you have it folks, that was YouTube's announcement and their reasons for it. It seems like a lot of the time people refer to any criticism as harassment, and YouTube affirmed that with their statement. Despite the fact that the dislike button is literally the most milk toast and honestly the kindest way to tell a creator that you're unhappy, you're not actually commenting, you're not telling them what's wrong, you're just hitting the dislike button, it's anonymous, it's harmless, nobody can tell who you are, nobody can tell what you're doing. Like, it, it's gonna force people to go and find other ways to tell creators that they're not unhappy, and I honestly feel like that's probably going to increase harassment on different platforms. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I think that they are just straight up lying about the part about this affecting smaller channels more than big ones. That's just a way for them to deflect and say, look folks, we're totally not doing this because you guys hated the YouTube rewind we made. We're doing this to help the little guy. Hopefully you can see now why I spent so much time talking about Netflix earlier. The Netflix situation set the precedent that when the actual consumer doesn't like your product, you can just take away their ability to complain about the bad things you're doing. This Amy Schumer special and the 2018 Rewind are two very, very different things, but the reaction and the way that the companies decided to silence their critics instead of listening to them make them parallel really well. Two sides of the same coin, in my opinion. Basically, by removing the public dislike count, they're hoping that people will just not hit the dislike button anymore. And I don't understand why. I don't understand what's the point of keeping the dislike button. I get that they still want the creators to be able to see it, but the creators can still see it, what's the point? Because they're discouraging the use of the dislike button, but they're leaving it there. So it's just a useless button now. It, <laughs> it does nothing useful. It doesn't help anybody. They didn't want to actually remove it, I guess, because then they thought they'd get more backlash. But uh, yeah, they deserve some backlash for this one. This is a terrible decision, and I really, really hope that YouTube reverses it. I mean, I've seen tons of creators come out and voice their support for the dislike button, which is not something that I thought I would see, but uh, rip to the dislike button. And so it is that the dislike button rides off into that dark, lonely night. Not with a bang, but with a whimper. The dislike button is dead. Long live the dislike button. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks again, God bless you.